Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create conjuring movie intro effect in Premiere Pro. This tutorial may be little longer than the others, but it's worth learning it. You will love this effect. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Conjuring. Click OK. We will bring our two videos onto our project panel. Now take the intro video and place it on the sequence panel to create a new sequence. Yep. So what are you guys? I mean, what do people call you? Uh, well, we've been called demonologists. It's one name for us. Ghost hunters, paranormal researchers. Kooks. <laughs> Wackos. But we prefer to be known simply as Ed and Lorraine Warren. Here we have this conjuring movie clip. We will create that exact intro effect like in this movie. We will use this ending to start our transition. Place the indicator at one frame before the end. Right click on it and select add frame hold. As you see our clip got cut. Take the razor tool and cut the audio and delete it. By enabling the frame hold, we now created a screenshot of that exact frame. Extend it all you want. It won't change from that frame. Place the playhead at the start of this frame layer. Go to Effects Panel and type in Monochrome. Take the Monochrome Faded, and place it on our frame layer. As you see our video turned into Monochrome. In the Effects Control, under Lumetri, click on the Creative. Keyframe the intensity and change it to zero. Now our video turned back to normal. We will create a transition from this color to black and white effect. Place playhead 2 second in the right and increase the intensity until you get that perfect black and white look. Now again go to effects and type in contrast. Take the brightness contrast effect and place it on our frame layer. Go to effects control. Place the playhead at the start and keyframe the brightness. Now place our playhead where our end keyframe is, and increase the brightness up to 40. Change the contrast to 8. Keyframe the contrast and place the playhead at the start. Now change it to zero. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good, but it's little too fast. To slow it down we will place our end keyframes again two second in the right. Place the playhead after 2 second, and bring the keyframes to that point. Play it again. I prefer to be known simply as Ed and Lorraine Warren. That looks perfect. We will add a pattern, like it's on the original movie intro. It's really simple to create that pattern. Go to Photoshop and create a new document. I will use the 1080 pixel size and click create. Click on this lock icon, so we can edit this layer. Now again double click on it to bring the layer style window. Click on this pattern overlay, 
I will use this dot pattern. We will leave this as default. Make sure that the size is in 85. Click OK. We now created our pattern. Press Ctrl, Shift Alt S to save it. Click Save. Now go to Premiere Pro. Bring the pattern effect we just created and place it on top of our frame layer. We now have this pattern on our sequence. Place the playhead at where our Lumetri N keyframe is. Select the pattern layer. Go to effects control and change the opacity to 50. And change the blending mode to soft light. We now got the perfect pattern overlay on our video transition. Keyframe the opacity and place the indicator at the start. Now change it to zero. Let's play it. That looks super good. We now created the perfect transition to black and white and it looks great. Let's move on to create our text animation. Place the playhead where our black and white transition completes. Take the text tool here and click on at the top of our video. Now you can type in the sentence you want. I will use the font called Arno Pro and I will use this yellow color. If you want this same yellow color, just type in, F, C, F, F, 0, 0. Click OK. I have this paragraph already typed, just like in the movie. I will copy it and paste it on our video. Now we have our text on our video. Place this anchor point in the center by holding control on your keyboard. We will animate this paragraph from bottom to top. Place it below until you can't see it. Now keyframe the position. Extend our text layer. We will place our indicator exactly 16 seconds from here. Our text layer is at 24 second. Add 16 second to it. And that is 39th second. We will place our playhead at 39th second. Extend our layer and place it on the 39th second. Now bring our text to the top. At this point we will add our movie title. Take the text tool and click near our text to add text, on that same layer. Press enter five times, and type in the movie name. Highlight it, and increase its size in the effects control. Highlight the C and increase its size. We will change our title to all caps. Now highlight J and increase its size too. Again increase the C. Our J looks little big, we will decrease it a little. Now that looks good. Again keep increasing the vertical position until you can't see the title.
Now extend all the layers. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good but it's little too fast. We will place our position end keyframes again, 4 second, in the right. Extend the layers. Place the playhead 4 second in the right. Place the position keyframes on the point. Again let's play it and see how it looks. And Lorraine Warren. That looks great. Now our text animation is in perfect pace. Place the playhead, right where our text covers the quarter of our screen. We will create a transition for our black and white video, so our text can be in focus to read. First highlight these two layers and right click on it. Select Nest. I will name it as Intro. Click OK. Go to this new item icon in the project panel and select black video. We will use the default settings, click OK. Now take this black video and place it on top of our frame layer, extend it. As you see our frame layer is now behind our black video layer. This black video layer is nothing but a black matte layer. We will use this to create our fade out transition for our frame layer. Place the layer where our text layer starts. Now place the playhead at the beginning. In the effects control, keyframe the opacity and change it to zero. Now take the playhead where our text reaches the center. We will change the opacity to 100. Now we have the black video again. Let's play it. That looks perfect. We now created the perfect fade out transition. Extend the black video all the way to the end. Take the playhead where our movie title is in the center. We will now create our transition to the movie. Place the text layer two tracks above from here. We will bring our second footage onto our sequence panel. Here we have this movie intro clip. We will create that transition from title to movie. Place the playhead at the second frame of the video. We will do the same like we did on our previous transition. Right click on it and select add frame hold. Delete this front clip with audio, by pressing backspace. Now we have the screenshot of this exact frame. Place the video where our text comes in the center. Place our footage here. Again type in monochrome in the effects panel. Take the monochrome faded and place it on our video layer. 
Go to Effects Control. In the Lumetri click on the Creative. Make sure that the indicator is at the start. Keyframe the intensity. Place the playhead 4 seconds in the right. Now bring the intensity to zero. Now we created that transition from monochrome to color. Here our video just pops out in the center and it looks not good. We will drag the intensity keyframes little to the right, so we can create a fade in transition effect to it. Drag this end keyframe little to the right to increase the transition time. Now that looks good. Take this black video again and place it on top of our intro video layer. Extend it. Now place the playhead at the start and keyframe the opacity. Take the playhead little before our intensity end keyframe. Select the black video layer and change the opacity to zero. We can bring this little closer to get a little dynamic transition. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. We can delay our monochrome effect little in the video, so our title transition can look more natural. Take the monochrome keyframes and place it little to the right. Let's play it again and see how it looks. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect intro transition for our movie. This monochrome to color transition looks super good. Now we will finish this transition in a moment. Place the playhead at the end keyframes of the intensity. Trim the layer to that time. We will again bring in our intro video and join it with our second frame layer. If I move the playhead you can see a little jump in the video from the frame layer, that is because of our screenshot layer is at the second frame of our video. Just trim the first frame and that's it. We now don't have that jump and it looks perfect in sync. We can add a little cross dissolve to connect it more subtle. Right click on the split and select apply default transition, which is cross dissolve. Trim cross dissolve. We only needed a little. We now finished our conjuring movie intro effect. Let's play it and see the final result. Yep. So, what are you guys? I mean, what do people call you? Uh, well, we've been called demonologists. It's one name for us. Ghost hunters, paranormal researchers. Kooks. <laughs> <laughs> Wackos. <laughs> but we prefer to be known simply as Ed and Lorraine Warren. That looks amazing.
We now created our conjuring movie intro effect and it looks simply awesome. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. This tutorial may be a little longer than the others, but I want to teach you this no matter how long it takes. Please forgive me. I hope you liked this video. No matter how many times I say this, it won't be enough. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. Thank you. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.